episode of Super Reaction Bros. I'm Kristen. I'm Kristen. And on today's episode, we are taking a look at the honest trailer for Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. Why are we really late? Because somebody finally fought, saw the movie. Finally. So, let, let them know what you thought. Honestly, I thought it was... It was it, coming at this as just mainly somebody who's having... Who's, who's coming in as a fan who just enjoys it overall. You know, I enjoy it. Now, if you ask me to dive into spe specifics, that's a whole different other story. Yeah, if you get into any gritty, you're really going to hate this film. But yeah, but I, I, coming as it, it's just somebody who's just, who enjoys it for the fun, the action, you know, some of the things that are going on. I overall enjoy it. Yeah. Is it better than the, the last one we got? Yeah. Debatable. It's, it's debatable, uh, to be honest, but you know what? Don't debate with us, by the way. Don't yeah, don't debate know. with us, but you know, but like I said... We don't want to dive into the nitty gritty of things. I mean, you guys can argue amongst yourselves in the comments down below. But anyways, Screen Junkies is bringing us another honest trailer. This time we're diving into the final Star Wars film. For and now. For now. And let's uh, see what they have to say about it. Because mm -hmm. we know we're going to hear so much about it here. And yeah. Probably in, a, in another reaction. Oh, was it later in the week? So let's dive into this again for honest trailers. Star Wars. The Rise of Skywalker. So here we go. From Colin Trevorrow, until someone saw the Book of Henry, and the director who's never seen a landing, he could not stick, comes the epic conclusion to The Force Awakens. <laughs> God, that's fucked up. Of Skywalker. I got a bad feeling about this. The Last Jedi asks you to forget everything you knew about Star Wars. So when some fans do the kind of fit usually reserved for ethics and games journalism, Disney panicked and tried to mash the pieces back together in this hollowed out shell of a trilogy that's missing any consistency in its plot, themes, or characters. Unless you fill in the blanks on Twitter, read all the novels. And happen to be running some Fortnite squads with the boys during the crossover event. The day of victory is at hand. The day of revenge. On the Fortnite? Of really? Oh, that's what the Dead Speak was referencing. Fortnite. Just like how Return of the Jedi revealed the second Death Star in Root Beer Tapper. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> Resistance was down to its last gasp, and the First Order reigned supreme. Now, stuff has happened, and the yeah. Resistance is back to fighting strength, while the First Order is taking loans from the rich old grandpa they don't call anymore. It's <coughs> a dark bargain with the only character left on the rotting carcass of the original trilogy, Palpatine, or a clone of them that's, like, rotting away, and Snoke is also a clone, and he's being pickled? I don't know, not super clear. The Emperor is enacting the same plan he had last time. <laughs> Troll a young Jedi into striking him down. Strike me down, and your journey towards the dark side will be complete. Strike me down, and my spirit will pass into you. And when that fails, hit him with the old zap hands. Yeah! Pretty much. But luckily, the same Luke Skywalker who bailed in this whole mess also left a scavenger hunt to stop him, sending our heroes running to find the thingy. The location of the Wayfinder has been inscribed upon this dagger. That leads to the other thingy. The Emperor's Wayfinder is in the Imperial Vault. That leads to the bad guy. He's going to Exegol. He's showing us how to get there. While the First Order keeps sending him running whenever some character growth is about to happen. There's an incoming destroyer. We gotta go now. Man, we're about yeah. to get We gotta go! We're coming! Come on! You know, I've been thinking a lot about this film. And the biggest issue it has at its core is, oh no, TIE Fighters! Everybody's <laughs> Pretty much your touch you just came in and all said, uh oh. Have returned, like Poe, who I guess was a smuggler at some point. Your friend's old job was running spice. Completing his arc from Han Solo type to just Han Solo. Pretty much. Nice. Who's still fighting against all odds to keep himself in the movie. I need to go alone. We go together. We're all in this. We gotta go after her. Right. <laughs> Maz Kanata, who snatched a medal out of Leia's cold dead hands just to please some 40 year old fanboys. <laughs> Schmucks, whose stories must have been cut for time. Kylo Ren, continuing the Skywalker. 
Skywalker tradition of being a genocidal death cult in his chips redeemed by a single act of good. And Rey, who's taken Luke's X-Wing, his lightsaber, his book collection, possibly his childhood home, and his last name. Rey Ho, Rey Skywalker. Huh, was Rey playing the long game? Because I think Luke just got talented Mrs. Ridley. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. Don't like the newcomers? Don't worry. No one is ever really gone. Rejoin your old pals 3PO. Chewie, Luke, Leia, Han, and Lando. Who are so sidelined at this point that one of them is fake memory wiped. Remedy restoration complete. One of them fake dies. They don't have to have me alone. I will. I will give him gravitas. The was for fake fans only. Shadow's weapon deserves more respect. One of them dies from causing the fake death of her son. One of them died two movies ago and is so over this franchise, he wouldn't even get a haircut to cameo as a memory. And one of them is alive and well enough to seemingly hit on his own daughter. Well, let's find out. Didn't know that's who Janna was supposed to be? It was in the Rise of Skywalker visual companion. Oh, game. wow. She no, I figured. In between rounds of Fortnite. Call it, it's it's obvious. It's his daughter. It's so blatantly. So conclusion that brings so much new to the franchise. From the new Force powers, they would have really come in handy for Qui-Gon Jinn. True. To hammering it home that all these dead stormtroopers were actually kidnapped children. Harvest more of the galaxy's love. To finally see the Knights of Red do absolutely, absolutely nothing. nothing. Go out like a bunch of weak ass punks. I know, right? I'm sitting there going, really? And mercifully brings mm -hmm. the new Star Wars cinematic era to a close with a sloppily constructed, hastily executed mess that vanished into the impossible. Unite fans who loved The Last Jedi and fans who hated The Last Jedi by pleasing none of them. It's on fire! Starry. Oh, we're using our made up names. Then I am Ray Skywalker. Huck Finn. <laughs> Narco Polo. Gentle Ben. Use the Force. Me. The only consistent character across all nine films. Right. Participation yeah. trophies. Don't force so hard. You'll end up just like your brother. An old man wearing the same outfit he had in his 20s. Cut off my mane. The Rocketeer. Rolling James Dio. Tony said cloned it is in the cave. Landmark Tarkin. A rose by any other day would get to speak. How can I be a mechanic? I have no arms. Darth Sibelius. You know what's cooler than one Captain Phasma? Six Captain Phasmas. <laughs> dramatic. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, she had a pretty standard reveal phase now you yeah. think about it. Star Wars Episode 9 The Last Star, Star Wars. Wars. For a while at least. You really need to think this through. You know, I'm starting to think it's a bad idea for one studio to make every big movie. I was cybernetically engineered to pilot a space craft. I was cybernetically engineered to be a douchebag. But you do the choice. What's you use your Falcon? Falcon's a lot better shape than he is. Maybe I saw on fire. What's oh. left of him isn't on fire. <laughs> on your left. <laughs> Oh my god, I was sitting there going yeah. so much going. Yeah, Avengers Endgame vibes? Yeah. Full on. I was getting Avengers Endgame vibes at the end too. Completely. Wash your hands. I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. Mm -hmm. There they are, all standing in a row. Who are you calling a cootie queen? You lit liquor. liquor. I'm sorry for peeing during me a man. <laughs> what? what? Yeah, that was the biggest problem with uh, the last Star Wars film is that like so many people bitched and moaned that they just did a very neutral Star Wars film yeah, that's to what they try did. to please everybody but in the end they really please nobody and like I said they brought up a lot of good things like night was a night Knights of the Ren it's like, I, I think I'm, I mentioned this to you. They show like, up, they leave. They, they show leave, up, I'm sitting there going, they show up, they leave. They show up, they show up, they show up, they get wrecked by uh, And it's like I said, if they would have, uh, to me, honestly, I think they would have brought, it would have been much better if they brought them in in the last movie, trying to build up some type of story with them, making it seem like, okay, these are some badasses, you know? But it's like, but he's more the badass of the whole group. That's like a may probably turn to him. Yeah. You know? And, and that, and then, like you said, the whole, like they mentioned there with the, um, uh, what was it? Oh yeah, with the was at the end where it felt like I'm sitting there going, why does it feel like Avengers? 
I'm like, I'm waiting for them to going on your left. I'm Dude. just waiting for that because I'm sitting there going, that's what pre- that's what this pre- was. Especially when you got the same company working on the same other stuff. And it's like we're in game and I'm working on this, so it's like, uh huh. And then the, the whole again, these are all spoilers. If you're watching this, I don't know why you're watching it right now, but right. especially with the whole there's a spy in the first order, and it's like kill like that. I'm like, God, God damn, we couldn't at least let that stretch a little bit more. I was like. I mean, if you could, you could have done that, maybe the second one, that would have been cool to set that up. But I'm like, damn, that that was, that was fast. I'm like, we found the spy. It's like, oh, okay. Yeah, so, eh, yeah, take away what you will. Luckily, we'll be... We, nice like said, we, can, we could be here for hours talking about what's wrong with it, what they should have <clears> done, and this thing like that. But, again... We're looking at it as more just you know just basic fans, basic basic fans, just saying it was an it was a passable movie. Yes, it was. So until other than that, if you're new to the channel, you hit the like button. If you want to talk to us more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share it around. And if you like us just a little bit more than anybody else when it comes to talking about honest trailers, hit the subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon as well. Let us know what you guys' thoughts are in this uh, this honest trailer. Did they nail everything that you probably were thinking about? Or do you think there's so much more that we'll probably bring it up in the next reaction later in this week? <laughs> Let us know in the comments down below. Put down what you thought of our reaction overall. But most importantly, thank you for watching. So until next time, I'm Chris. And I'm Christopher. And this has been a very not-so-fun Star Wars filled episode of SRB. See ya. Later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out our previous reactions, or any one of our other SRB shows, check out one of our playlists down below. If you want to check us out in the social universe, you can find us on Twitter and Stardust at Super React Bros.